Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Season 2, Episode 45. First thing as always, thank you to those of you that have subscribed to my channel. If you are new, names will go up over here. And thank you to those of you that have been following and supporting me on the forum. Recognition goes up over here. Now, I have one notification before I start. So I received a message yesterday from the person in front of you. I'll put their name down below. And really appreciate the fact that you contacted me. Sadly, I can't make today's game for Sunday. Uh, fingers crossed, hopefully I'll try and make the next one. I believe that is on the 21st, if it is correct on the um, timetable. And yeah, hopefully you have a great time. Other than that, let's get into this video. <laughs> If you haven't seen my video from last week, go check that out. It helps out the channel. Now, I went to a new site, number 13. Now, when people hear the word 13, some people might think it's unlucky. Some people might think it is lucky. Well, at the end of the day, it doesn't affect me because I'm Gamble. Now, this new site I went to was Zedmar, and it is in Newbury. And what you're gonna see is a Halloween special video. But before I do, I'm gonna go over everything that I took with me. So I wore my entire Urban BDU with the helmet included. I'm gonna put a picture up here, as you can see. That is what I took with me. Um, I put the camera on here and I did throughout the day put more electrical tape just to secure it for my little paranoia because I didn't want to lose it in the dark. And what did I use on the day? Well, I tried to use my machete, but they wouldn't allow me too long. So I had to go with another rubber prop. I did bring an AK, but sadly it was the wrong one for the job because it had no Picatinny rail attachments on. So I had to go for the next best thing. This little beauty, one of the twins, customised. It had the tracer unit ready to go. It had the foregrip, the stock, everything. Extended mags, regular mags, you name it. The only thing I was missing was a flashlight. And I did want to get a pistol flashlight, but sadly I couldn't get one in their shop over there. But I did bring a spare flashlight with me on the day, thankfully. And it's been sitting in my bag for a number of years actually waiting to go. Here it is. And yes, I did put the um, flashlight on here on the tracer unit. I put some electrical tape around to secure it. And it did work out through the entire day. I couldn't fully lock the stock up here so it would be like this. So keeping it down, no issues whatsoever. And yeah, when you're in the field, you make do with what you have. And I'll be honest. It did a great job, which you will see in the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down. Move over here. This is the rig I used on the day. Again, keeping it simple in CQB. I brought my rubber prop here, my AK bayonet. And I do manage to use it. You'll see it in the video at some point. The hardest part is um, when you play CQB, like all things, whether you're outdoors, indoors, your adrenaline's pumping, you don't know what's around the corner. So it could be a friendly, it could be an enemy. You shoot them, do you knife them? Again, not trying to hurt people, but again, CQB, you're gonna, you are gonna be closer, so you are gonna feel the BBs. Um, but no, I had a great time, so I'm gonna put this down over here. Now, I went solo. Um, I consider myself the scout for my friends um, because my friends were a little bit curious about the site and they weren't around anyway. So fingers crossed, hopefully you'll enjoy the video and it will encourage you to join me for the next game. And yeah, before we go any further, this is a Halloween special, like I said, so I decided to go with a Resident Evil theme. So there's gonna be uh, some editor clips, so there's gonna be an intro, an outro of a character, if you know from the Resident Evil franchise, a really popular one with a lot of mystery. I kind of resemble him, in a way. And yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy the edited clips. Um, in this video, um, there will be moments where it's just music, again, theme based. Um, there is some audio that does work, and then there's times when the audio is out of sync just slightly. I am working on the camera, it is getting better slowly, um, but again, I'm trying to work through it and fix it before I have to buy another one, hopefully. So, fingers crossed, hopefully, you enjoy the video and action. Copy, stand by. Doctor, we're here to collect 
the G virus symbol. This is my life's work. I'm not handing over anything. We have our orders, Dr. Birkin. I'll ask you one more time. Hold your fire! What the fuck were you thinking? Our orders were to bring him in alive! We're in, sir. But we had a snafu. Target resisted. We had to take him out. That's correct, sir. Roger that. Just the samples, then. Let's move. This is Hunk. We've acquired all the G samples. Mission completed. This is Hunk from Alpha Team. Man, I thought you were all wiped out. I've been trying I'm to... I'm at point K-12. Need info on my extraction. Guess there's no keeping down the Grim Reaper, huh? My extraction point. going to die down here.
Resident Evil. Shot. Hey. <laughs> I was hiding in plain sight, just literally right there. <laughs> oh, people out. You alright? Alright. Oh. <laughs> this way, this way, this way. Stay up this way. I can't really drive by it. Okay, D Mag, yep! D Mag, fire each other a couple of times! Let's go! D Mag, fire each
So what happened is my battery died waiting for them to swarm me. Eventually they did. I managed to take six players out at the bottom, um, covering the left and the right door. No one actually came down the escalator at all. I was quite surprised by that. Uh, maybe once or twice people poked their heads down and shot a few times, but then moved on. And then I thought, you know what, I'm down to my last extended mag. Just go up the top and see what damage you can do. So stealthily I made it up whilst they were still shooting at me at the bottom, thinking they had me pinned in. I moved up to the top, watching my 12 and 6 going up the escalator. I moved around. Thankfully, there were no enemy yellows around. Unfortunately, I came across a green that somehow made it up the stairs, so fair play to him. I didn't know that. He didn't know that. I didn't call out. He shot me, presuming I was a yellow, so I died. Friendly fire, blue on blue. But again, fair play to him. He made it up there as well, and I just said, well done, just keep going. So I went back to respawn. I changed out the camera, and reload my entire mags and gas them and I did click the button to record but I must have been the panic because I wanted to get back out and get as much footage and damage as I could I must have double clicked it so I turned it off so I didn't have any footage at all so I ran back out on my second life I managed to get four kills which was great moving up then I got blue on blue again which didn't help at all bear in mind I was in front of him and another player on the same team Always check armbands, guys, especially in CQB and night games. It does help out a lot. Um, so I went back into respawn, came back quickly, um, shot two people advancing. So I've got up to 12, I believe, up here. Six, four, two. Yep, that's 12. So I got up to 12 people shooting them. Then I hid in a gap of a wall, and the enemies were coming through. I could hear them. They said, right, we're going to swarm around the corner. So they did. Um... I should remember to count though, because I got a knife kill, which is great. I wish I could have shown you that. I got a knife kill. I basically went Jason Myers on this guy, not hurting him. I just went, knife kill. And then his buddies came around the corner as well, and they shot me, and I was dead. Was it worth it? 100% yes. Uh, the only downside is I did get shot in my pinky, and it is a week later, as you can see there. I'll put a picture up there as well, so you can see, fresh on the day. Again, I will look into some better glove protection. Other than that, before we get back into this video, there's one other thing. My camera did die twice, uh, so you'll see that later on. And there is nothing wrong with the counting, okay? It's just the fact that my camera died and I had to switch it out for it to work. So whatever happens with the numbers that you see, they are not incorrect. It's just me carrying on. Other than that, back to the video. Action. Yeah, but I've got to remember I'm on yellow side now. Yeah, I've got to remember that now. You don't know why you're here. Is that what orange means? No, 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 that's just on. Oh, yeah, it's just on our. Yeah, 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 yeah,
on the way here. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> take, take, take it. Take it. <laughs> take it for you. Sorry about that, buddy. Make sure I just freaked the ground and caught my legs. <laughs> Sorry about that. Nice one there. Robo Yeah, it is. <laughs> nice. Alright, let's see how much. Oh wow, that's not good. Green! Uh, no, yellow. Bloody hell, yellow. Yellow.
Dude, you got hit as well, come on now lad. Seriously? Oh no, fuck that man. I want to sneak in through the entrance point. Entrance point! In there. In there. Let the dead man out! Let him out! Let him out! Someone put that there to look at this. So you can see us. Ready? Got the mirror there, come on, cheap guy. Dude, you got hit! No. That's ridiculous. Yellow! Oh. 
There's a lot of them, believe me, guys. Yeah, we got. I want the duck. Let's go. Go, go, go. Nope. <laughs> 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 Come on, we got to save us here. Let's go. Go, redistribute, please. Distributions. Yes, up to there. You in front of me. Back. Left, right. Right. Oh no, this is Three for three, this is what we have. Left or a break? Oh, no. Gun, please. Oh, yeah. It's going to be your gun. Yeah. No one can play that game shot by those. There you go. Left. <laughs> she gave it to my right hand and said left. Right. <laughs> Gets me back in. Just let me clench. Ah, oh, son of a. <laughs> he thought I was going to go for his button. He was wrong. Hello? Uh. Yeah. 
Get out, get out. Get out. Grab a good stick. Grab a good stick. Let's go there. Grab some. There's a lie, sorry. See, it's turning off, naughty boy. Hands will light a little bit. Give some room. Right then. Let's go down. Where's he going to be? Left. Oh, so Sorry. It's just not my day today. Do it's you want to take it standing and facing or do you want to you know, away? You're yeah. Can I go on? I'm not, if I say the answer to that, you'll probably go, yeah, okay. <laughs>
So that's it, the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed this Halloween special despite the technical glitches. So let's go over a few things. Now, if I put a picture up here, you should see the prizes that I got. I actually have them here in my pocket. I'll get through them eventually. Um, so worth it for Halloween. Uh, so there's a few things that I wanna go over. Now, when it comes to CQB, sometimes when you see on YouTube, you see like overhitting, players arguing. It can happen, don't get me wrong. But what I like at this site was there was a lot of control fire, which was fantastic. So obviously not hurting people intentionally. There was a minor few scuffles with a few hit takers um, and a few people left for whatever reasons, I don't know. Um, but no, in general, I had a great time. I was trying to be careful as well that I wasn't overshooting anyone. And I have to say, quality was good on that day. Um, I'd say 90, 95% of the group there, or the entire player group there, were rentals or people with their own gear that had never been there before, so first time for everyone, with the 5% being like the three or four players that have been there regularly, so not a bad mix-up, I'd say, honestly. Um, here is my total score on the day. So as you can see, I got 62 and a knife kill. I'm pretty impressed with that. I wish I had my knife ready to go. I could have got two more knife kills, but again, all part of the game. And the marshals' names will go up here. The marshals were great on the day, um, speaking to players, having a laugh, banter. There was one time where a marshal nearly fell over, um, slipping on some BBs. That would have not been good, but it would have been funny at the same time, which is strange when you think about it. And yeah, everyone on the day was having a laugh, having a great time. So there are a few things to consider before going to this site. Now, if you're local, fair enough. You could possibly walk or drive there, that's your choice. I had to drive there, it took me less than an hour. And getting to the car park, no problem with the sat-nav. Um, if you haven't been before, like any place, it can be a little bit disorientating, but just follow the sat-nav, it should lead you in the right place to the car park. And what will happen is, when you get to that car park, obviously park where you can, um, if you're going with a bunch of friends, go in the same car, save people and obviously car spaces, paying extra and petrol money, compensate the uh, driver. And then literally once you park, whichever level you're on, you get down to the bottom, go where the entrance is, turn right. I'll get this on video next time. And there is a banner and a door, pretty secluded. But if you see a bunch of airsofters outside waiting, then wait and join the line. They're doing the same thing as you. And yeah, what I paid, I'll put the prices up here now actually. Um, so 30 quid for the day, and it was 12 pounds for me for paying the fee for the ticket. You're probably thinking that's really expensive for Sunday. Well, at the end of the day, you're going for a bit of fun. Yes, you're gonna be a couple of hours, so what do you expect parking <laughs> in town? Um, not bad price, but again, some of you might have to consider that. And once you pay at the bottom, or what, whatever level you're on, there should be a parking ticket machine. Um, once you paid, then you can drive out and go home. Um, for lunch, you can bring your own if you want to save some pounds, some pennies, or they said, the marshal said on the day, you can go into town. You've got a certain amount of time before we start the next game, so we will close the door. So bear that in mind, they will close the doors. So if you miss out, well, 
or they will probably let you in, but you won't play in the game because you're late. Um, so you can go into town, to the markets, the shops that are open. So you can go to Tesco's, Nando's, McDonald's, or any other shop. Um, so bring some extra money if necessary. And yeah, that was really it when it came to the lunch and parking arrangements. Um, like I said before, marshals were great. Um, players on the day were great. Can I recommend Zed Mart to other players for CQB? 100% yes. And fingers crossed, hopefully I'll get some friends involved soon enough because it is winter and we would like to look for an indoor arena. And that's it for this video. So like, comment, share and subscribe. Don't forget to click the little bell icon so you know when the next video is. I enjoyed making this video. I look forward to making the next one. The most important thing you can do is stay safe.